of hairstyles. And today we're going to do an Easter egg basket, so keep watching. So I've started with putting her hair in pigtails, and I have a side part up here, and then I zigzagged the part, just for fun. And then I have them a little bit damp, and we're going to rope braid these. So to rope braid, you divide it into two pieces, and you twist both the strands the same direction, so I'm sending mine both to the left and then I cross them over against each other the other way. So now I'm twisting them to the right against each other. And then as you run out of hair that's been twisted, twist it again individually and then twist it over itself. Go to the bottom and put it in an elastic. Then just let that one hang down and do the other side. You can tie ribbon in their hair or if you have bows that match, just go ahead and put them in before you start. And then same thing, so twist them against each other the other opposite direction after you've sent them both the same way. Then put this one in an elastic and then we'll do the Easter basket. Finished. Now take the first loop in your rope braid and open it enough to put in your Easter eggs. And I put the small end of the egg in first. And when it's hooked between the strands of hair, then I'm going to bring it over to the side of her head and bobby pin it in place. And then do the very same thing with another Easter egg. Open up the top loop, stick it in between them, my rope braid's a little loose, so you might want to do yours a little bit tighter. Bring that one over, bobby pin them in, and then take some Easter grass. Mine's not even grass, it's just cut up construction paper, and put it right in the middle. She has very short and thin hair, so if you have more hair than this, it'll work great. Put the grass in, take your last egg, and pull out the ropes where they've crossed, and slide this one in between the crossing spot. Yeah. 